Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Image Resizer app that comes with the uh, Power Toys app. So Power Toys is a bunch of different utilities from Microsoft uh, that you could do various things uh, with. We have several videos on how to use a lot of these if you want to check those out. Uh, Image Resizer used to be a standalone program that will let you resize pictures just by right-clicking on them, and you have different uh, sizes you could resize them to. But now it's a part of Power Toys, so you'll have to install Power Toys to use it. And then once you're there, you could go to the Image Resizer and look at the settings if you want. You make sure it's on. And you can look at the pre presets, small, medium, large, and phone. So these are the sizes. You can edit those or add your own custom size. And then you have some quality level here if you want to reduce it to get even uh, more reduction in your picture sizes or bump it up if you think you want to make it look a little better. And so how it works... You don't, have that, you don't have to have Power Toys open to do it. So look at, so say we have this picture here. So it looks pretty good. And right now it's six megabytes. So if we right click it, resize pictures. So then we have options here for the small, medium, large, and phone that we saw on the previous uh, screen there. I like to use the large because it reduces it quite a bit and you can still get a good picture there. And then you have the option to ignore the orientation. And if you want this, if you check this box, it'll overwrite the, the uh, picture with the same name and just reduce it and get rid of the uh, original size. But if you uncheck it, it'll make a copy uh, with the same picture name. And then I think it says copy or something like that afterwards. And then you'll have both copies and you can kind of compare them. But I just like to replace the original one there. And then you have make picture smaller but not larger, if you want to check that. So I'm going to pick the large. Okay, so we had... 6.2 megabytes before, click resize. Let me just like take a look at the picture one more time here. Okay, let's resize it here. So it went from 6.2 megabytes to a half of a megabyte just by doing that. And if we open it up, still looks pretty good. So obviously you're not gonna use this if you're doing you know high quality prints or for graphics, but if you're just you know using it, keeping it for your photo album, or if you're going to send it to other people, that makes it a lot easier because that way you could send more attachments in an email if they're a lot smaller. And then you could also do it for multiple pictures. So we have these three here, 15 megabytes for all three. If we resize them, I'll pick the large option here. So now we went from 15 megabytes to about two megabytes and they'll still look pretty much just as good. All right, so I'll put a link in the description for Power Toys, and then you could uh, go ahead and install that and play with some of the other tools. And then, like I said, once you install it, you'll automatically have this right-click option there. You don't have to do anything to configure it, as long as you don't turn it off in the, uh, in the settings here. You'll be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.